Okay, everyone, we've done it. We've made it through all of the virtues. This month will be our last virtue, our last cardinal virtue, which is temperance. But before I get to that, I want to make a little confession. I really love candy. I've loved candy since I was a little kid. I would really struggle to limit how much I had, especially around Halloween and Easter. In fact, my mom would have to basically hide it from me or I would just keep eating it. Well, I did not have the virtue of this month, which is temperance. Temperance is to enjoy things, but to enjoy them in a proper, balanced way. That could be something like candy, or it could be food, or soda pop, or video games, or sports, or even phone time. Now, you might think, wow, one cupcake would be really good. It is so good. What about two? Wouldn't two be better? Even three, wouldn't that be better? Well, that's the problem with human nature is we think, well, if one is good, two must be better and three must be heaven. The problem with that is we can kind of get out of balance. Think about a tightrope walker. They have to be in balance. And if they're not, they could fall. It could have disastrous consequences. We have to be in balance. It's okay to enjoy the good things in life, but we just can't go overboard. We have to know that one piece of cake is enough. We don't need to eat half of the cake. Really, it's a lot like self-control. I like this image here because it's not that somebody else should be telling us what to do, like me with my mom limiting my candy intake. It should be us telling ourselves, no, that's enough. You've had enough. You've played enough video games for today. And that's hard to do, but that's the virtue of temperance. An example to illustrate how it can be hard for us to let go of the things we like is there's a legend about how to catch a monkey. Apparently, monkeys would sometimes ruin crops. And one way the, the farmers would catch the monkeys is to drill a hole in the end of the coconut and to put banana inside of it. Well, the monkey would come up, he would smell the banana, and he would put his hand in and then grab the banana and try to take it out. But the hole was too small when he had closed his fist with the banana to take it out. Well, apparently, monkeys are pretty stubborn and they will not take their hand out with the monkey with the banana because they can't. It's too big. You would think, well, just let go of the banana, but they won't do it. That's a lot like us. From time to time, we hold on to things. And that's where the virtue of temperance comes in. It helps us to enjoy things in a proper, balanced way, but to not go overboard. It helps us to remember what the really important things are in life. Here's a couple questions for you to think about. Number one, do you sometimes eat too much candy, watch too much TV, play too many video games, or whatever it is you like to do? How can you begin to put limits on yourself about these things? Number two, if we don't enjoy things in a balanced way, things like food or phone or sports, what are some of the problems that might come up? All right, I'll talk to you next week.